YouTube land. Oh, my dog is running around. Hello, everyone out there in YouTube land. Waiting for my volume to come up. I am the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. And I went back to Marshall's. <laughs> I went back to Marshall's. Yes, yeah, surprise, surprise. Um, and because I... Um, you know, I I was thinking about some of the things I was trying to be good, and I was thinking about some of the things that I did not pick up, and I was like, I really wanted that, and I really thought it over, so it wasn't like impulse buying, but um, now I'm definitely done with Marshalls um, because I have enough. I know I've said that before, so I'm going to. I'm going to show you what I picked up. It's, this, it's actually not a lot of stuff. It's just that it really, really adds up. I should have gotten some paper towels. Is this attractive? Oh, that was a fail. Okay. So now by this time... The volume should be up, and I was going to actually test out some of the products that I picked up. So, the first thing that I picked up, and I have my handy dandy knife, because some of it is not open. The first thing that I picked up is this uh, Hemp Heaven, because I've been promising you guys since April 20, 420 of last year to do a uh, hemp-inspired body care review. So I have tried hemp's, I've tried hemp vana, I tried this hemp and collagen infused lotion. I don't remember the name of the um, manufacturer, but I had not tried hemp heaven. So now after I tried this, I have an itchy eye. After I try this, I can do a proper hemp infused inspired um, review reaction. So I picked up the hemp heaven. They had this one, which is lavender dreams. This was five 99 and it's 18 fluid ounces. And then they had a coconut one. And you guys know that I don't need more coconut. I don't really need more lavender, but I like the lavender scent. I preferred the lavender over the coconut because I have so much coconut. So, we'll, we will be trying Hemp Heaven. Then, I decided, I went back, this was $3.99. I got the Elf, Elf Jelly Pop. And this is Watermelon Jelly Cleanser. It says, this hydrating watermelon infused jelly pop collection uses unique jelly textures to give you lasting sheer color, dewy skin, and healthy glow. So, you know, for the longest time, I did not know that ELF stood for eyes, lips, face. I just thought it was ELF. So this is, this one is sealed. Um, I'm going to open it for you guys. Hmm. Yeah, I can smell the watermelon. I wonder what the texture is like. So it's definitely a little sticky. You can definitely smell the watermelon. So it's sticky, but it's not like super sticky. So we'll see. It feels like it would rinse off like pretty easily. So that's why I needed my handy dandy paper towels. So we're gonna try that. Then I decided I'm running out of foundation. I actually, you guys comment on how great my skin looks. There is nothing on my skin right, right now. Most of my videos, I'm not wearing makeup. So um, there's no concealer, there's no foundation. There's no cover-up or anything. This is just how my skin naturally looks. It actually looks better 
with foundation because like most people I have uneven skin and it can actually like sometimes look pink pinkish so I needed more foundation because I'm running low so I decided to try this um Becca foundation this was $10.99 which is about you know how much foundation goes for it was hard to find something that I thought matched my skin tone because a lot of the colors were way dark or way light so this one this one seemed pretty okay I usually get like a I want to say ivory I usually get like a, a beige nude color so this is ultimate coverage 24 hour foundation and this is in the shade buttercup so I'm hoping that this will be good for my skin. This was the only color that that matched. The other colors were, like I said, super dark or like really ivory color. And I'm light skin, but, um, oh look, it has, it says Becca. And this is, I think this is made in Italy. Made in Italy. So... We'll see how it is. I mean, it's it's comparable to if I would have bought foundation in the, um, I don't say the supermarket, in Walgreens or CVS um, at $10.99. So, yeah. So I got that. And then you guys know that I was pondering whether I should get the Morphe, the Morphe lipstick. Um, there was a, this color and then there was an orange one. Orange really doesn't look good with my skin usually. So I got this one in the moment. Um, this is my first time trying Morphe lipstick. This is $3.99. You have to be careful with lipsticks. Make sure that they're not, uh, that they haven't been opened or damaged. That's the Morphe brand there. And I can see that the Morphe stamp has not been swatched the m is still there so i'm going to try on some of this makeup at the end uh, and then we can see what's going on the the hook over there at uh, marshall's and i guess at tj maxx is uh this is a this is mega matte super matte is the um the i heart revolution i heart revolution comes out with so many cute things so you guys know I was I was thinking about getting this, the Ned Flanders, the Simpsons Revolution. This is the Treehouse of Horror Lip Gloss Liquid Lipstick Set. Um, I did find today they put out the Mr. Burns one. So the Ned Flanders one is red lipstick. I had to look up online what the Mr. Burns one was. He's dressed like, um, here Ned Flanders is supposed to be the devil. Um, Mr. Burns was supposed to be like Dracula from the Francis Ford Coppola version of Dracula where he's got that big bouffant hairdo. I looked it up online. The lipstick was orange, like a coral. So I did not get that. And then I did see uh, at a different Marshalls, a Lisa brand, you know, Treehouse of Horror um, eyeshadow palette. I just did not like the colors at all. So this is the, uh, the Devil Flanders one. This is sealed, so I'm going to open this for you, and then we'll try it on after. This is $5.99. Okay, so for the Double Flanders, you have this red lipstick. Does it have a name on it? No. It just says liquid lipstick, and then it's got Ned Flanders on there, and then... Um, there's like a gloss to go over it, like a pinky gloss. So, you know, it would be funny instead of the, the devil Flanders, if they had done that one where Ned Flanders goes skiing and he's wearing that super form fitting ski outfit and Homer says, damn sexy Flanders. Like if they had that one, but if they had like a regular Simpsons line, but they decide that maybe for Halloween, um, they did Treehouse of horror. I don't know. So I did end up picking that up. Then the I Heart Revolution, they have these palettes. You've probably, if you've gone there, uh, you've seen these. They look like a chocolate bar and they have like every possible color. So this one, they have larger ones, they have smaller ones. I picked up the Black Pearl uh, because I don't have any of these colors. 
This would be good for work because a lot of the colors that I bought recently are these really highly uh, vibrant, pigmented, bright neon colors that are not really appropriate for, you know, business type environment. They're more like weekend fun party colors. So um, I figured I'd try the Black Pearl. Um, this, it was $3.99. I did not open it in the store. So as you can see, it has the, I just thought this was so gorgeous. The silver and black chocolate bar. So let's see. It looks like somebody stuck their finger in this. Yep. It looks like somebody stuck their finger in this one. <laughs> I'm going to have to wipe that. See, this is what happens when you don't open the the stuff in the store and look it has the plastic so can you you can't see can you see the fingerprint there's a fingerprint why do people do this why do you go and stick your finger in the damn makeup that's disrespectful it's i could definitely see a fingerprint there so this is Black Pearl. It doesn't have any uh, color names. It just says pressed pigment. So, yeah, I should have looked at that more closely. I'm going to put the I'm going to put the plastic back over it. So, we'll we'll see how that works. Love that. Yeah, so you could easily fall in love with the iHeart Revolution um, palettes because they're just, they're all so amazingly cute. So then, okay. I'm going to blame uh, Twisted Gypsy for this one. So I broke down and I got the damn Nikita palette. This is the Morphe Nikita palette. This is $19.99. That's the back. This is what it looks like. It's got kind of like Matrix vibes to it. $19.99. Expensive for a palette for me. It does have the plastic shield. And uh, here you can see the colors. So with this palette you get not only your uh nudes uh, you get you get nudes you get vibrant colors uh you get matte you get um shimmer and then also you get this mixed palette right there metamorphosis and then you get um oh, it's funny because this one is called matrix you get a completely glitter glitter palette right there so this is an interesting palette because you, you know, you get your regular colors, you know, your, your normal going to work colors. And then you get these, you know, um, let, well, these, these are normal colors, but like maybe this, and this, I wouldn't go to work with, but these, this is kind of toned down. This is not as super neon as some of the other palettes, um, you know, like. I don't think I would be wearing this like super dark red, super dark orange, you know, like these type of colors to work uh, more. I would stick more with like this, you know. So, yes, I broke down and I got the Nikita palette, which means if I'm going on a project, use it up. I have to start wearing makeup. So, yeah, I got the Nikita palette now iHeart Revolution did a fairy tales collection. And if you watch my last video, then you know that I picked up the Snow White. No, not Snow White. Yes, Snow White highlighter. I picked up two of the Snow White highlighter. And then I went there today. They had they had the damn Snow White eyeshadow palette. I had to look it up online because this is sealed and I wasn't going to open it and be disrespectful and stick my fingers in the palette. 
So they have Snow White, and then I will get to the other one. So this is a mix of um, eyeshadows and um, other things. I think it has blushes in it as well. I'm going to try to open this. Uh, this was $7.99. They had two. You know, I could have easily bought two, but oh, I can't. I can't get the damn palette out of the box. Okay. Why do they make these so hard to get out? Why? I don't want to rip the carton. I can't. I can't get the damn thing out. Okay, I'm going to have to splice this video. I think the key would I saw it just more. I think the key with these palettes is that you have to open them from the bottom or else they don't they they're a pain in the coolie to get out. So this is the Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs mirror mirror on the wall. And then you open it up and it's like a book. It has, okay, I'm going to guess here. This side has blush. This is highlight and these are shadows. Um, not the greatest palette of shadows. Um, they're all, they're all Snow White themed. Um, this one is really funny. Uh, this one right here is called Hi Ho. Um, so I will read you what they are just in case you guys want to know. And then in the uh, inside of it, it says mirror, mirror on the wall. So we have Huntsman, Poison, Hi-Ho, Apple, Evil Queen, Snow White, Forest, Seven, The Prince, Red as a Rose, Whistle While You Work, I'm Wishing, Woodland, Diamonds and Rubies, Steal a Kiss, Queen's Castle, Magic, and Single Bite. And what's interesting is this has this has a this is a black shadow, which is which is interesting. And you have your your shimmers and your regular ones. This is one. This apple is a really really intense red, and so is red as a rose. Um, I I don't know about using this one. I'm wishing it's so pigmented royal blue. Um, so there's that. I do like the the blushes and the. Uh, highlighters, highlights. So $7.99 for that. Like I could see just, just going around collecting palettes, but you know, makeup doesn't stay good for, for forever. For, for, for forever. So trying to get this back in the carton. Okay. So we, they had Snow White. They also, but did not have in the store, but I saw online, they did um, Cinderella. That would have been really nice to see. But Snow White is really pretty. And then they had Sleeping Beauty. Now, when I looked at it online, I like the Snow White better than the Sleeping Beauty. But let's see if I'm going to have to splice this again. Why does everyone, am I the only one who's having difficulties with these palettes? Am, am I really the only one? Does everyone go through this or do you just rip the carton off? Do you rip the carton? Because I don't want to rip the carton. I'm going to have to splice this again. As soon as I said I couldn't get it open and so I have to splice the video, I got it open. This one opened from the top this, this time. Okay. I got it open. Now I can't get it out. Okay. It's out. All right. 
So Sleeping Beauty, this is my first time seeing it open. Pretty. I wonder if the Snow White one was had a double palette. Okay, so this one is interesting. This one is interesting. So you get kind of the same type of blushes and similar um, highlighters. And then it says Once Upon a Dream. And then here are the colors. They're okay. So they are, I'll try to show you. Let me move over this way. Sleeping Beauty, Magical, Rose, some of these are like the same, Aurora, Make It Blue, Love, Spell, Maleficent, just like this booger green color, Sleep, King Stefan, Diablo, would you think Diablo would be red? Kiss, Curse, Castle 16, Wish, Wish, Thorns, Dreams. I really like the Aurora and the Spell. This is an interesting one, the um, 16. So, yeah, I definitely like the Snow White palette better. Who knows if I would have liked the Sleeping Beauty one, uh, not Sleeping Beauty, the Cinderella one better. But I just, I love these collabs. I want to see how pigmented the um, the shadows are and whether they there's a lot of fallout or staining or anything like that. So now this one, my hair is falling all over the place. I'm blaming... Leah Janae for this one. I don't even like this movie, but I Heart Revolution. I took this out of the box, and so I'm not going to cram it back in the box. So I Heart Revolution did this e.l.f. palette, and that's what the colors look like, kind of. This is $7.99, and there are four palettes. Now, I thought that these were palettes that you open like you open them like this, but they're not. So it opens like a book. This is so like collectible, I think. So it, it opens like this. Okay. And then it has a little doodad there. And then you have this palette, this palette, and this palette. So I feel like you have some warm, warm colors and nudes there. And then these are more like some, some fun kind of almost like tropical pastels. These are like your, like your earth tones, greens and blues. And then here, this is like a peppermint palette where you have like also like pinks and stuff. So this is like a pretty thorough, pretty thorough palette. I'm impressed by, um, by I Heart Revolution. This says Santa, oh my God, I know him. So I'm, I'm not a fan of Elf. I really am not. So um, yeah, I have to give it to iHeart Revolution for the packaging and everything like that. Uh, and then it came in this, this carton here. I'm telling you, I tried to open this in the store to see what it looked like. And I could not, I had to take this home and like really figure out how this stupid thing worked. So I'm just going to kind of like leave it like this, maybe, or put the carton on halfway. So Leah Janae, she talked about this. And then she said, she said this one was like cool because it was multi, multi palleted, um, but that there was one that was better for colors. So I didn't even open this one. This is the one that she recommended. This one says I'm a cotton headed ninny, ninny muggins. Like I said, I'm not a fan of the movie. So 
I've watched it, but I didn't really pay attention to it. So they had a lot of this cotton headed cotton headed mini nuggins palette, and they only had one of that multi palette. So this one is going to be another one where I'm not going to be able to get it open. I should have opened it before the video. This was $6.99. This one with all the palettes was $7.99. I don't know how deep those palettes are. So this one, you can only open it from, you can open it from this way. So the colors are on the back. Okay, I got it open. Thank the Lord. Got it open. Okay. So, this is the last the last thing I'm going to show you and then we're going to try on some lipstick. Okay. So, this is the I'm a cotton headed mini muggins. Um this is like the Take Me to Brazil palette. So, it has a mirror with the elf. Okay. And it says, does someone need a hug? And then here's, here is the pan. And I just feel like it's just random, just random colors. Like there's no names. The colors have no names. Um, the palette is like really, the pans are really small. So I don't know why she recommended this one. There's a lot of, I mean, they're nice colors. There's a lot of shimmer. There's a lot of shimmers in there. Um, I don't know. I'm just not super impressed by it. I'll try it out. I'm not super impressed by it. But I mean, like for $6.99, what do you want, you know? Speaking of makeup, I have a bone to pick with Jeffree Star. So I have been tempted to buy Jeffree Star makeup in the past um, just to see what it's like. He does have a very, he does have some really uh, nice looking um, cosmetic, I almost said magnetic, cosmetic products. Oh, by the way, that's the end of the haul. Um, this is just me rambling. He does have some nice stuff. I really did like when he did that purple palette. That one was really, because you know purple is my favorite color. But... I just saw a video that he did that said, I bought a $700,000 McLaren. That's a car for you guys who don't know. I'm like, this man is so beyond rich and he so does not need my money. Like he's obnoxiously rich. Like I feel like, like he doesn't need my money. So I, I just don't, I don't, like his personality and I just don't like the fact that he's so over the top rich and he I'm gonna use my my one of my uh what do you call it commenters word he's he's always flexing so he's flexing on his riches so um yeah that turns me off that turns me off to shopping um any kind of Jeffree Star product so I'm gonna try the Simpsons one first because I feel like that one is going to be easier to remove. So we're going to try the Devil Flanders. I feel like I, I'm nearsighted, so I can't see. This is this. I'm shocked. The applicator and the consistency and the pigmentation is really, really nice. It makes me want to go back and get the Mr. Burns one. I can't, I can't see. I'm shocked. I'm shocked. 
by The Simpsons um, collab. Like, it applies perfectly. There's no, um, like, running. You know, sometimes when you put on lipstick, it, it doesn't stay in place. It, like, it bleeds. Not literally. But the color bleeds. This stays on. Perfect. I think I like this even better than the Stila uh, lipstick that I bought in that color basil. That is really, really nice. Now let's see what it looks like with the gloss. I feel like, see, now I mess up, I mess up the, um, the applicator. I really like that. I don't think the gloss does a whole lot to enhance the color. I'm just like wiping this off. I don't think the, the, the gloss does a whole lot to enhance the color, but I really, really, really <coughs> uh, am liking this. There's not a lot of product in here. There, you know, like I don't know how long that's gonna last, probably forever, because I don't use lipstick that often. But um, yeah, definitely I would want to pick up another one of the Devil Flanders. It's really nice. It is really, really nice. I wonder if that Marilyn Monroe lipstick that I picked up the other day is as nice. This really goes on very, very well. <coughs> Excuse me. So now I'm going to take this off. That is really red. That's like really red. That is like devil red. <coughs> oh, I got a dry throat. Anyway. <coughs> so now we're going to try on the Morphe. If this wasn't five ninety nine, if this was like three ninety nine, this is compared ten dollars. I would get another one. I really like this. I would get another one of the Devil Flanders. I, I don't think I would get the. Um, I don't know. Now I'm kind of tempted. I can't. I'm not gonna go back. I'm not gonna go back. Tempted to get the Mr. Burns one. <coughs> tempted to get another Devil Flanders one and and uh, Mr. Burns one just to see if that orange would look good on me. So this is the Morphe, this is the Morphe um, lipstick. Let's see how this is. I've never tried Morphe lipstick before. Uh, no. Mm. <coughs> I can't get rid of this scratchy throat. No, I'm I'm not liking them. No. Mm. -mm. mm. <coughs> the Morphe goes on really dry. I don't like the consistency. It definitely needs a gloss. And um, it's it's like the consistency of a Crayola crayon. I really am. I feel like I look like, um, see how it bleeds? I don't like it. It's very, it's, it's extremely dry, <coughs> extremely dry. Long wearing full cover, 
long wearing full coverage deeply pigmented this is no no this definitely needs a gloss over it it needs some help and i'm glad i did not get two of them see now who would know you would think the morphe lipstick would be better than the simpsons lipstick and the simpsons the simpsons is so much better now this i'm gonna have to work with it because i bought it i'm gonna use it <coughs> but um mm -mm. you guys if you see this go pick it up it doesn't look bad it just i don't like the texture i don't like the texture i find it very dry and just really unappealing so this is a super long video anyway <clears throat> Remember to comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.